people who have driven over the Indian River Lagoon for years. And very few realize the damage that has happened to this lagoon. The loss of sea life, the loss of grasses, the loss of the lagoon. And it's dying. It is dying. So today, I'm paddling five miles from Jungle Trail to Black Point. Along that way, I'll be looking for seagrass around Pelican Island. With any hope at all, we're going to find seagrass. Well, I checked out the video. I wish I had something better to report, but uh, really couldn't see much of anything at all. You know, looks like what little grass is there is pretty much gone. I had high hopes because, you know, we didn't have a storm this year. We did not have a hurricane. But I think we had a record amount of rain in the last month, two months. Even without the storms, it, it rained almost every day, sometimes two to three to four inches in a day. And, of course, that's flushing all the water out from the land. You know, the fertilizers, the weed killers, uh, everything that had been spraying ends up in the lagoon. And I believe that's what's killing the lagoon. Guys, we got to wake up. I mean, the answer is not spraying chemicals into our waterways to clear our waterways. First of all, I think most of the waterways that I see don't need spraying at all. They don't need to be cleared. The plants that are there are the filter. That is what's filtering the water. By spraying it, we're killing the filter. So remember what the problem is. The problem is not the weeds in the water. The problem is all the nutrients in the water. The fertilizers, the sewage, the everything, all the runoff that we put in the water. That's the problem. The weeds are there. That's Mother Nature's way of trying to correct the problem. So the more we pollute our waters, the more the weeds grow trying to clean the water. What do we do? We spray and kill the weeds. That kills the weeds. Everything they take in, the nutrients get re-released into the water and the water's even dirtier. So let's take care of the problem. The problem is we got to clean up our act. And guess what? Yes, it's going to cost money. It's going to cost money to live in paradise. Otherwise, man, you go over that. Next time you go over to Indian River Lagoon, take a minute and kind of look at it. And if you ever get a chance, get out there and not so much in a boat, but paddle. Paddle on there where you really get a good look of what's going on in there. There's not much going on. Everything's dying. The lagoon dies. It's our quality of life dies. So, guys, it's, it's, we got to take action on this. I've been watching this for years. And uh, you got scientists saying things both ways. You got one scientist say you got to spray. You got other scientists say, no, we don't. And I'm telling you, I think it all depends on what side of the political party you're on. I mean, I hate to say it. I hate to say it, but people are making money by doing the wrong things. And we need to stop it. We got to do what's best for us. So that's my little rant. I'll be out there next month. Hopefully, this water clears up where I got some clarity so you can really see what has happened here at Black Point. It's probably the same thing that's happened year after year after year. But uh, one day, one day, hopefully, we'll take care of it. This is Pete Hink, man. If you like my channel, please subscribe to it. I'll be doing more videos. Not just water videos, but I, you know, I'll show you some cool places to go to also. So, till next time, we'll see you.